Marriage, Communication, Exercises Communication is a crucial element of every relationship and is simultaneously one of the components that experience the most roadblocks. Even in long-term relationships that seem like each member should understand the other implicitly, communication can become murky, complex, or twisted. Sometimes, long-term couples need to relearn how to talk and listen to one another. Many exercises can facilitate this. Pump up the positive. Communication between couples benefits majorly from using positive language and tone rather than negative styles. It's not always what you say, but the way you say it. By practicing giving and receiving positive communication, you can make it automatic to reframe comments in a more positive light. Before saying something, consider how it will sound and whether that could be taken negatively or painfully. Then, try to reframe it to be more positive. Discuss this idea with your partner and make a pact together to try to speak as positively as you can. Lend me a hand exercises. This one is a little more fun and fosters better communication, understanding, problem solving, and stress coping skills. Each person has a hand tied behind their back while the couple attempts to finish a task together. This can be something simple or more developed. A fun option is cooking or baking together, so at the end, you can enjoy a meal that you made together and discuss what you learned. Could you lend this channel a hand and smash the like button so other people could find it more easily? Thank you. Activate your listening. Active listening has been a term thrown around for a while because of its importance in all relationships. It is the process of being mindful and aware while the other person is speaking to best ensure we understand what they are saying and to show interest and respect. To do this, try to think about what they are saying. Put yourself in their shoes. Try to empathize rather than consider what you'll say next. An excellent method to do this is by setting a timer for three to five minutes. During that time, one partner speaks while the other listens. The listener may not interrupt and must wait for their turn. When the timer is up, the listener can ask clarifying questions to ensure they understand. This shows they were actively listening. Switch the speaker back and forth as often as needed to feel heard. Me, myself, and I statement exercises. Getting defensive, finger pointing, and blaming is a common hurdle for couples during disagreements. However, I statements, where you talk about how you feel yourself rather than referencing how the other person affects you, can help remove blame and shine focus back on the important issue. For instance, instead of, you never help me with housework, you could try, I feel frustrated and sad when I get home from work to see a pile of dishes from the morning. This allows your partner to empathize with you rather than feel defensive. To learn more communication tips, download a free ebook, How to Talk to Anyone, 10 Simple Tricks to Have a Meaningful Conversation, at www.selfimprovementvault.com Communicating effectively and enthusiastically with your partner. When using these techniques, remember to stay open and willing. Whenever possible, focus more on cultivating your relationship's positives than the negatives. Always maintain in the forefront of your thoughts that you want this relationship to flourish and that you love the other person and want to understand them. By doing this, you can enjoy communicating with your partner again. Have a great day, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.